Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do updates for the multiplayer zombie survival template. So let me just walk you through what you, what you can do to make your life super easy, especially if you've already started a project with the template. So when you get an update, it'll look like this in your vault. You click update and wait for it to finish installing the update. Once it's done, then you can uh, click and click and create a new project you can name your new project whatever you want and it'll just be a temporary usage type of project so you would open it up this would be the new updated template and then you would also open up another version of Unreal with your own uh, game or project so you'd have two projects open and then in the new project you can go to edit and project settings and you can see right here project version 1.7.5 that's what it is on this video, but on yours it may be newer, older, depends on where you are. And so you would take this number here and you would come over here to the documentation. And the link to the documentation is in the Discord as well as on the product page on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you do is you just, when you open up the documentation, it'll probably be all the way at the top like this. So you'll want to click this uh, little button over here on the left and it'll show the outline then you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and then find that version number that was in the updated template so we're looking for 1.7.5 you click that it'll jump you straight to it and then I'll have a quick little um, description of what the, what it is like for this one adds blood splatter decals in when you shoot things and also removes a couple of unused things that um, that's about it and as you can see like in previous updates sometimes instead of typing it out if it's more elaborate or if I'm adding something such as free spectate right here I'll just include a link to the YouTube tutorial and you'll be able to just click that and then click this link right here and it'll take you right to the tutorial the video tutorial but in the ca in case of this one it's just a simple uh, I, I type it out I got screenshots you just follow along follow the steps but the good thing is is like if you do have to add something if it doesn't ask you to add any code like right here um, I include links like this right here to the actual code which you can copy and paste but sometimes the copy and paste doesn't carry over well from this website so the good thing is you can actually copy and paste from this actual project so say uh, it was something you had to copy and paste over from the third person character you'd have the actual code here you can just copy and then flip over to your project open it up and then paste it right in good to go and then you can just double check it uh, as you follow along in the documentation so that's the easiest way to do updates manually if you uh, already have a project created because I know a lot of you have been been with me since the beginning you have projects that have are probably way beyond what they started off as and there's no way that anybody could possibly restart or would want to restart their entire project just to get a, a small update so I hope that explains the update process and thanks for watching guys and make sure you if you want to subscribe I post tutorials or at least I try to whenever I get a good idea in a moment's of free time um, also make sure to leave me a cool review over on the marketplace That'd be nice. It helps out. Leave a nice, cool five-star review if you want. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's, that's it, man. I'll see you guys later.